Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is just walk through some of these trades, the last three trades, two from today, one from yesterday, that I had the thesis, the direction, all, everything correct, uh, but my execution and my stop trade management and stop locations were too tight, and I got stopped out and then watched it continue to go in my in my direction. I think all three were shorts as well. Um, we can start with yesterday's VIX trade. Okay, so this is the VIX short from yesterday. And you know what I'm going to do is blow this a little bit up bigger. So when the Fed announcement that rates were going to stay unchanged happened, that was one of the outcomes that I had uh, thought might happen. And so when we had that yesterday, we had a violent reaction both ways, and then it was pretty clear that it was the market was going to react in a let's put the risk back on type of sentiment. So I was looking for a vehicle that was not going to be super choppy. And that's why I went to the VIX. When the entire market's moving, it can be sometimes difficult to pick one individual stock, one individual company. So that's when there's entire market moves. I gravitate towards SPY or the Qs or in this case, the VIX. And I went for, a, I just like the way that this VIX cracked pre-market lows on that uh, news, the formation that it set up. And I just really liked this setup. So I was trying to get short, um, into this 22 level, I think I was shorter on the 2180s and 2190s here. That corresponds to this spot here. So yeah, 2180s right there uh, corresponds to this area right here. So the top side of this. And I had set my stop right above this node. And I think that was a mistake in hindsight. I thought a lot about this and even discussed this with my wife last night who is not a trader um, but just knows my personality and kind of what was what I was thinking and uh, where my weaknesses are if you will and you can see I got stopped out right at the top of the move and the thing just tanked um, and the two trades from today pretty much the exact same thing happened they, they will look very similar to this but after thinking about it there was a fresh news catalyst so the expectation of I think we've gotten kind of, I've gotten kind of into a rhythm and, and, and maybe sedated, if you will, on some of these uh, counter moves on these breakdowns or breakouts such that they aren't really reaching this second node recently. And so I was using that recency bias to try to get in earlier and set my stop tighter here without taking into the, you know, the equation that the fresh news would have resulted in, in wider, whippier action. And so that's exactly what happened. I got filled here, squeezed it out here right at the top of the move. And then, um, of course, we, we rallied and the VIX sold off for the rest of the session. And... Uh, what could I have done differently? Well, I could have repeated to myself, this is a fresh news situation. We have a, uh, a volatile swing in the market and unexpected uh, result. People are off sides um, market-wide for the uh, Fed decision to keep rates the same. So, you know, you got to maybe size down a little bit and, and use a little bit wider stops. Um what would have been a wider stop that could be could be used? I thought pre-market lows was a good area to stop out, but it dipped straight up into there and then came back in. Maybe on wider stops for fresh news types of things, I need to be looking at the next set of nodes and not just the pre-market lows. So that was one thought. I'm going to take a drink of coffee here. Um, so I saw this Roblox break down, and I was watching this yesterday, actually, uh, into the close. And the reason that I was looking at this first short was because yesterday when the market rallied, Roblox actually sold off. So if we go back even further to yesterday, um, 
during that during that uh, market rally, the first part of it at least, uh, market was rallying during this period, and Roblox was just selling off, and not until the very end of the day, very final minutes, did it start recovering and getting bought it back up. But that signaled a lot of weakness for me. We cracked the uh, pre-market lows on not so great structure. I think I was looking at the nine minute actually by this point in time. And I was trying to get in between here and here, here and here, lucids on lows. Um, I saw this 100 level crack and lots of volume being done there. And so I tried to get in right there and got short right in front of 100 and very similar situation. Um, got stopped out right at the top of the move and then it uh, went down to 96. And I was in at 99, gosh, I think it was 9980s, 9970s, somewhere around there. So almost right in front of 100. And the, the difference between the top of the move and where I got out was very small. So it just barely wicked out, and then it, it dropped four points. So that was how the morning started. And then went to a couple of meetings and then saw this Apple set up. And Apple set up right, where was it, 10.45? It was this bar. It was this drop and then this continuation drop and break of the previous low. And I saw this bar on volume um, right, right at 10 o'clock. And I was trying to aim uh, again for... The, somewhere in between these two nodes, but closer to the first one. Again, not taking into account that we have a little bit more volatility here and um, not taking into account the uh, previous two trades I had just missed and the same thing happened. And maybe I shouldn't take it into account because that is recency bias. Let's go ahead and move to a two minute here to make this a little bit easier to see. So I shorted into this uh, level right here in the 176s and high 175s got stopped out I think about seven cents from the top of the move um, and I didn't even have my stop on the other side I mean this is just bad stop placement I didn't even have my stop on the other side of this I had my stop on this side of this of this node so like there's a clear trade execution mistake on my part in stop placement um, on a calm day, my stop should be on the other side of this node. On a wide, higher rangey type of day, I should probably be looking at somewhere up here to place my stop. So got ticked out within seven cents of the high of that move, and then it went and put in new lows, and now it looks like it's basically double bottomed, but the trade did work. Uh, but same exact thing too tight a stop, get clipped, and then heads down to, to lows here. This one didn't run, and it's not really putting in a ton of um, high volume, high volume, high delta footprint bars. So trade still seems legitimate, but it is holding this double, now triple bottom, so something to be wary there. But that is that is what the last three trades look like. Uh, pretty much the same exact pattern, uh, shorting into a breakdown, setting stop too tight, getting stopped out right at the top of the move, right before the drop, and then it goes. And at this point, I'm I can feel that my frustration levels have climbed, and I need to do a mental reset and. I kind of remember what my process is, so that's what I'm going to focus on for the rest of today so that I can come back tomorrow. Um, not not huge losses or anything like that. I didn't ruin my month. Um, I think I went red on the week, though, uh, as of this morning, which is unfortunate, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Losses are a part of trading, so <clears throat> and it's pretty clear what, what it is that's happening and what I need to adjust. My setup is still working. It's just my execution <clears throat> and my stops are too tight uh, for trying to catch these moves. So 